Here's a nice vertical spring problem. And we've done problems like this before, but in the past we knew the spring constant. And this time, that's the question. Get the spring constant based on the observed compression. So I'm going to put in a reference line here. And that is the lowest point for this mass in the problem. And I'm going to call that y equals 0 which means when the spring is uncompressed, that's at a height of y equals 1. I don't know if we'll need that, but I'm putting it in for completeness. And then my original height would be y equals 4 meters. And I'm going to use energy conservation to write down a relationship that has the spring constant in it. So I have E initial equals E final. And all my energy in the initial state is gravitational potential energy. So that's mg y initial. And in my final state, the gravitational potential energy is all gone because I'm sitting at y equals 0. And all of my energy is spring potential energy. OK, so I know the compression distance. I know the initial height. I know g, of course. And I know the mass. So the only unknown there is the spring constant. I'll go ahead and plug everything in. 15 kilograms. 9.8 meters per second squared, initial height of 4 meters equals 1 half times k times the compression distance, which was 1, all squared. So multiply both sides by 2, and you've got k. And it turns out k is 1176 newtons per meter. I usually round to three sig figs by convention, so I have 1180 All right, part B, compute the acceleration of the mass at this moment. So the important thing here is to not forget that gravity is still pulling down. So I have a compressed spring pushing up, but I also have gravity pulling down. So just getting some force vectors in here. There's gravity pulling down. I'll go ahead and get a number on this right now. That's 15 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second squared. That's 147 newtons and then I have the spring pushing up and that spring force is given by Hooke's law so I normally just talk about Hooke's law in terms of the magnitude and then I'll indicate the direction in the diagram so definitely pushing up with a magnitude of kx now that I have my spring constant I'll just throw it in I'm going to use the more precise version, 1176. One meter compression. So I have 1,176 newtons pushing up. All right, then I should be able to get F net and find the acceleration. So my net upward force then is 1,176 newtons minus the 147 newtons the gravity is exerting. That gives me 1,029 newtons. And then I know the acceleration of the mass will be the net force divided by the mass. So that's 1,029 newtons divided by 15 kilograms, which gives me 68.6 meters per second squared.